No, no, don't put me under again. I've got to figure some way out of this mess. Father, I need help. I'm in terrible trouble and I need help. Father, did you hear me? Father? I hear you, son, but I got troubles of my own. Nothing I have in this world is really any good, you know. My house is small, my job is small. My salary is also small. <laughs> son is small. So is my wife, and get right down to it, I'm no giant myself. Everything around me is small, inferior, except this fishing pole. I myself wind it every year with the best of silk thread. See this lacquer? It comes from China. No finer lacquer in the world. See those guides? Pure amber. Nobody in town has a fishing pole like this. Not even Mr. Latimer down at the bank. My life is so poor and shoddy that without this pole, I, I'd have nothing to set me apart from other men. Nothing to give me distinction, nothing at all. That's why I love it so much. Do you love it more than you love me? <laughs> of course I do. What is there about you that can give a man distinction? You're not unusual at all. Yes, I am, Father. How's that? I may not be unusual now, but I'm going to be. Of course you are. Going to make the world safe for democracy, aren't you? What is democracy? Well, I was never very clear on it myself. Like every other kind of government, it's got something to do with young men killing each other, I believe. Why don't old men kill each other? Well, the old men are needed to keep the home fires burning. Couldn't the young men do that just as well? Young men don't have homes. That's why they must go out and kill each other. When it comes my turn, will you want me to go? For democracy, any man would give his only begotten son. I wouldn't. I won't be here to stop it, Joe. Put your arms around me. I need their warmth to keep the chill of death away. I can't. Please. No! Well, I guess it always comes down to that. Each man faces death by himself. Alone. 